Are you ready for the sixth episode? Shara, which theme have you picked for today's story? Hi, Bob and Lulu. I thoroughly enjoy listening to all your stories. This lockdown has brought all families closer. So, I would like to listen to a story on the theme family. I would be waiting for your story. Bye. Today, we'll be listening to a story of how two crows protect their family from a wicked snake. Let me introduce you to the characters first. We have the old fox. We have father crow. And we have mother crow. And then we have the snake. And now, I'll begin the story. Father crow and mother crow had their nest in a huge banyan tree. They had been living there for many years and had many children. One day, a snake came and made its home in a hole beneath the banyan tree. The crows did not want a snake as their neighbor, but they could not do anything about it. Mother crow laid eggs and soon they hatched. Hatched children is when young ones come out of an egg. The eggs hatched and father crow and mother crow brought up their children with great care. One day the crows went out to look for food. The snake crept up the tree and ate the baby crows. When father crow and mother crow returned, they were shocked to find their little ones gone. They did not know what had happened to them. They asked all the animals and all the birds in the neighborhood, but nobody could tell them how their little ones had disappeared. Father Crow and Mother Crow cried for a long time and decided to keep a better watch when they had children again. Months passed and Mother Crow laid eggs again and soon they had baby crows. This time, the crows kept a more careful watch over their children. One of them always remained at home while the other went out to look for food. One day, Mother Crow saw the snake crawl up the tree. Mother Crow cried for help. Help! Help! And she tried her best to drive away the snake. But the snake crept up the tree and ate the baby crows. Mother crow cried and cried. Many other crows joined her and they cried and they tried to attack the snake. But the snake quickly slithered back into his hole without suffering any harm from the crows. The crows were still crying when Father Crow returned. He was very sad when he heard of the fate of the little crows. He tried to console. Console, children means comfort. He tried to console Mother Crow, but she was heartbroken. Between sobs, she said, <laughs> We must leave this place immediately. So long as the snake lives here, we are not safe. We must go to a place far, far away and make our home someplace else. Father Crow was unhappy. He said, But we have been living here our whole life. It would indeed be very sad to have to move away. Mother Crow replied, Yes, but who will protect us from this wicked snake if we stay here? Father Crow thought for a while and said, We have to think of some way to get rid of this snake. We have our friend, the old fox. He is intelligent. Come, let's go consult him. Consult children 
is to take advice. Mother Crow agreed and they both went to the fox and told him what had happened. Help us, they cried. Save us please or else we will have to leave our home and move someplace else. The old fox thought for a while and then he said, you don't have to move from your home. You have been living there for many years. I think I may be able to help you and get rid of the snake. Do as I tell you and there is a chance that the snake will be killed. Now, listen to me. Tomorrow, the ladies of the royal palace will go to the river for their bath. They will leave their ornaments and clothes on the bank of the river before they enter the water. Their help will be there at a distance to keep a watch on their valuables. Tomorrow you must go to the river and see where the ornaments are kept. When nobody is near, you must pick up a necklace or a valuable ornament and fly away. Cry out aloud and then the help will notice you flying away with the ornament and run after you to get it back. You must fly straight to the banyan tree and drop the necklace into the snake's hole. The crows agreed to do what the fox told them. The next day they went to the riverside and waited. The ladies of the royal family came and left their ornaments and clothes on the banks of the river just as the fox said they would. The crows looked down and saw the ornaments. They noticed a pearl necklace. Mother crow went flying down picked up the pearl necklace and flew away. Father Crow followed her, cawing loudly. At the top of his voice, the help noticed Mother Crow fly away with the pearl necklace and began to run after the crows. Mother Crow flew straight to the banyan tree and dropped the pearl necklace into the snake's hole. The help followed with a long stick and tried to take out the necklace from the hole. This disturbed the snake. It came out hissing. The help surrounded the snake and beat it and killed it. Father Crow and Mother Crow were very happy that the snake was killed and they were grateful, that is thankful, to the fox. Children, do you think that the crows should have moved elsewhere and made their home someplace else? Or were they right in getting the snake killed? They did it after all to protect their family. What do you think is the moral of the story? Don't forget to mention it in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed our story, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit the like button and share this video. Bye!